Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken. We're playing the Legendary Iron Man difficulty run. Um, and it is month number seven. We're still competing for South, Af uh, South America after we've liberated the entirety of Africa. And today we're going to look into a probably a little bit more difficult mission. Got a Shinobi, Specialist, Sharpshooter, Assault Technician, which itself is a rounded group, but at the same time, uh, these here are all squaddies, Lance Corporals, and uh, we are fighting against 12 enemies. So it's definitely something to be a little bit concerned about. Uh, that mission is not going to be that easy, specifically since uh, we are now seeing a ramp up of uh, the enemies. So let's see how well I can um, pull this one off, and hopefully, we're going to have a flawless mission. Let's go. Good, here we go. A group of resistance contacts uh, was rounded up and is now being held in this prison. Position is obscured. Gotta be careful, it's misleading. Reinforcements will be a big thing, so if we can try to extract them without uh, losing our concealment, that would be a huge win. Or at least getting there without losing concealment. I like the high ground. It's almost obvious that you want to fight like on here, but at the same time there are probably going to be enemies like right within this area. Let's take a peek. Hmm. Go, go, go. So far we're doing well. I like the high ground position for sure. And as long as we're keeping our concealment, guys, this year is going to be relatively straightforward because the time before the reinforcements doesn't start as long as the concealment isn't broken. So there is a huge incentive for us to keep it that way. Moving. I got enemy movement here. Yeah, and that was that was to be expected that we can't just get all the way there. Okay, 12 enemies, 3 here, 2 here, 2 here, that's 7. Closing on target position now. Moving everyone up as far as um, reasonable. Got our shotgun. Um, technician over here taking full cover with everyone and let's steady the weapon so this here is a beefy pack if we could like engage only one pack at a time I think that would be extremely helpful Yeah, that's too much. We can't fight them all at once. Can't move away either. Oh, we can. Okay. Now that pack here is a problem. Yep, and we're still seeing them. Hmm. We're also seeing the, uh, them 
It's actually it's actually a really bad situation to be in. If they close in on us, we're fighting an uphill battle. Very much an uphill battle. This pack alone will require our entire attention. System infiltration in progress. Well, that one here would be good, but 34% is um, nothing to kind of rely on and build a strategy on. So, I don't want to take the engagement. Let's see, if we were to... Position ourselves up here. Heading out. Seems a bit kind of counterintuitive. Oh, we can't even move away. Oh. All right, we can't move away because we are already in line of sight of them. Well, that's a bummer. Good. That means we're overwatching. And let's hope one of the packs will like scatter into a different direction. Yeah, maybe one more round after this. Unfortunately, we can still see all of them. That's a bummer. Flamethrower doesn't help us either. No, or we can just go on to full overwatch. I would even go for a sniper overwatch. overwatch. Normally I steady the weapon as a preparation for kind of a next turn. This is a good setup for a flamer. Those two seem to disappear. Oh no! It's uh, the ignoring the wall again uh, thing where one of them is moving inside and the other one simply stays outside. Well, that's a cool trick as well. I think that's our best shot. I don't believe that we're going to get a better invite than that. Let's give our sniper here the A protocol. Just want to make sure we're not being seen. Overwatch. We're starting it with one Overwatch. That must be enough. And let's go. Viper and Mutant is, are burning. That's good, because they can't act next turn. Mutant takes some hits, and... We triggered another pack. Great. Well, thankfully... Our... Um, Thankfully, our um, specialist has Sentinel, so yeah, 
There's a potential to make another reaction shot. That's great. Got a pack back here. So we gotta be careful. This viper is burning. This viper is not yet burning. Let's kill this viper. Let's remind ourselves, by the way, this here is our um, this here is our assault who uses normal uh, assault rifles instead of shotguns. So a bit counterintuitive. We do have a shotgun um, technician and an assault with rifles. Uh, it's a dangerous game if we were to kind of move around here. Yeah, if we were to move, we would be spotted out. So that's a no no. The Viper is not a threat but the sergeant might be a threat all right come on nice hit for 11 that was good love it almost got him down I don't think we're going to uh, see any grenades, so that might be a little bit overdone. Shift the activity over, and this here could be another burning. No, it's just damage. I was hoping to maybe ignite him. Shit, he spots us out. No, he doesn't. There's no window. Great. That pack is probably going to add very soon. No, they're running away. Ooh, interesting. All right, time for some Oscar Mike. don't have an option to break his overwatch, unfortunately, but what we can do is we can simply hit him with a sniper rifle because he is completely exposed. The tower has luckily burned to the ground and fire still is very much one of these uh, things in long war that get, gets rid of objects. Need to make sure that the mutant is actually going to die. I left the space open just in case. 
if he wouldn't have been killed so that another soldier could come in. Good, we can't keep our concealment much longer. We need the damage. Superior hacking, oh, that's nice. Go up to here, but we would risk pulling the other pack, and I don't want that, so we're taking a very secure approach. Reload, shot, and down it. Perfect. Moving up. You know what? No problem, boss. Let's just kill this guy. Alright, very well done. Good, we killed five. Two more to go, by the way. Pretty hard... Um, Packs. Oh, and we're getting uh, we're getting reinforcements. Well, that stinks. Got to make a decision. I think I want to to liberate the <coughs> the guys, and then just get the hell out of here. We could almost kill him. If you say so. That trickster he has evasive bonus, all right. Good. Let's get the commando down. Enemy down. Just one f uh, tile short being able to open the door. It's going to happen next turn. Good, we're going to overwatch and overwatch because reinforcements are going to come in. Well, certainly not the best timing face this one. Nice. Shotgun overwatch shots seldomly hit. So that was great. Oh my gosh.
Yeah, the civilians casually just stroll down the street whilst there is a massive firefight happening. I uh, can't hit the rocket launcher, but I would like to. Don't want to attack either of uh, these, matter of fact. I'd like to get back into a strong position. We're taking an overward shot, but it's an overward shot into sprinting, so very low chances of hitting. Moving over, not too far. Oh my gosh. That shot might go wild. Well, I know that the explosion definitely has, has at least uh, injured the Sentinel. I, I guess that'll be okay. Work it on the door. Yeah, we're not the best hacker here. Let's hope we're not pulling another pack. Of course we are. Oh, and a stun lance on top of, of it. Ah. So we're probably going to lose one of the civilians, but it is what it is. We can still extract everyone else. Overwatch here. Reload. And let's steady the weapon. Lance has got a lance. Overwatch? Maybe? Very nice. Come on, Sentinel. Alright, can't fully get out of here yet. But we can get to this position, which means uh, that we can get out of here next turn. Let's kill the faces one. Almost. Definitely can get out of here next turn.
All right, going for full cover, and let's hope that we can kill the faceless one. Very nice, that's good. So we can pull everyone out next turn, which is great. And so far, besides uh, the death of one of the VIPs, it has been a flawless mission. I can handle that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and VIP plus VIP. Good enough in my book. Bit unfortunate that we triggered that additional pack. But in the grand uh, scheme of things, more than okay the, uh, to lose the civilian. Yeah, flawless mission, great. And there we go, three promotions. Very nice. So we got our, our ranger here. And this time I wanted, to, uh, I think, to go more into the kind of electroshock um, route of a midfield ranger. Hmm, let me think about it. So. If we were to do that, the whole idea with her gun would be obsolete though, because the Electroshocker is kind of a midfield um, or ranged ability, and then she could uh, go back to a shotgun, which is not the worst idea. So we just need to give her a new gun, I suppose. But yeah, it would be basically um, definitely Electroshock. Mechanical enemies, that would be very helpful. I'm not sure if I want to get rid of Fortify because it is better than a bonus to hit. Specifically if you have an ability that is even useful when it misses. Formidable is probably too strong, so we would go um, Electroshock into Arc Pulser, Fortify, uh, Formidable, definitely Rapid Fire. Um, Untouchable is probably a no-brainer, and then Chain Lightning. Good. Chavez, the shotgun. I, we wanted to use the entire route of the Flamer. I like it. Another another flamer ability disorient or panic is great that is good as well probably not as good as shredder but okay that definitely is great incinerator is great that is awesome I'm not sure about firestorm because rapid fire is really really good but everything else is Awesome. As for our Overwatch uh, based character, we already got Sentinel. That was good. So that was the reason why we didn't have Revival Protocol. Let's go with Covering Fire next. We definitely take Medical Protocol because it's just a no-brainer to at least be able to heal. And then Ever Vigilant, definitely cool under pressure. Threat Assessment, I'm not sure about Threat Assessment, Full Override is also good. But yeah, let's go for Covering Fire. If we want to make this an Overwatch based character, I like the Resilience perk. Making her very immune to crits. So yeah, 
the new guys are coming along quite well. And we got a superior hacking. Which, if my memory serves me well, wasn't it one of uh, the new coming specialists? I think it was one of the new newcomer specialists whom we wanted to like focus on hacking. It's been a while and we have a lot of characters. Well, she is a hacking, but a normal gremlin. Let's give her a, um, a higher level gremlin, a better piece of ammunition. Because if she's an Overwatch soldier, then she should take um, take a couple of proper skills and we're giving her additional hacking. I wouldn't use it um, for any of the main characters because I personally think although 21 hacking is nice and she's now at like what 100 and something hacking there are better PCSs. Look at that, only three days. Hinder Advent Operations. It would be nice if we could do this. So let me check if we can actually pull it off. All right, I got the team together. <clears throat> it's probably one of the missions where we will need to boost the infiltration to even get down to 20 enemies. I think 30 is a bit too much. Um, you might ask yourself why would you invest Intel in order just to get Intel. Um, there is indeed an additional reward which is hinder alien operations. And that could mean preparation of a dark event. That could also mean that uh, they are preparing to invade. It could mean a lot. It's essentially one of uh, their hidden movements and none of the hidden movements are positive. Let's put it that way. Unfortunately, we discovered that mission quite late. Let's continue healing faster again. Oh shit. One more week on the covert ops actions. Ah, that's a bummer. We need to watch out for their sabotage attempts. Good, we got a frost bomb, which is nice. Let's take a look what else we could theoretically get. We're ready to go, Commander. If you need a skull jack, we can build one at any time. Yeah, I think we're going for the skull jack just to A progress the storyline a little bit more. But B even more importantly. Let's make sure that um, we could reduce the avatar program if possible. Another mission. Uh, that's a get advent uh, get advent's attention. I really don't want to do that mission. would immediately raise the strength level and it essentially only is an intel mission so no we're going to ignore that one good i think roby just retrained which is perfect
A little bit of bond improvement. That's great. So let's skill Roby and see if we can also retrain one of the other soldiers, one of the sharpshooters. So we definitely wanted to go with competitiveness. That was good. I like center mass um, for extra damage, but uh, the 10 dodge here and the melee attack is just better in my perspective. Formidable is great, so no question here. Shredder is absolutely fantastic. We're going to continue that. I like Mayhem as well, but I like Shredder better. We're going to go for Demolition. To remove cover. Danger Zone isn't bad. I'm considering uh, actually the cool under pressure. Cyclic fire is good, but we do have rapid fire and it's a tough sell. I mean, with uh, traverse uh, fire, which he soon gets, traverse fire plus rapid fire are three shots as well. So that means we don't need cyclic fire. So we're going for cool under pressure. The critical hit is enormously helpful, specifically if we can get Guardian. And we're taking rapid fire. Good, now we got a few extra points. I like the damn high, uh, damn good ground. But those two here, Guardian plus Sentinel are also extremely good. Um, probably just taking Guardian for now. Damn good ground, yes, for bonus to hit. Guardian for extra overboard shots uh, when we're when we're suppressing. That might be an option as well. It's not too uncommon that we could move a little bit further away and let Roby kind of stand a little bit off to the side and there's really no disadvantage in Lone Wolf. I mean clearly aggression is what we wanted to go for um, but we still have a lot of XCOM points and Roby is one of the soldiers that I want to invest in. He has really really good abilities here. But I think we're going to go for Locked On uh, with Rapid Fire. To, uh, that's good. Also, it's good for the Overwatch uh, theme, um, which means he would essentially get bonuses uh, for, for consecutive shots. So very successful reskilling. I like where this is going. Let's look into our Sniper. Divert here. Yeah, we probably need to skill aggression. And we already got Alpha Mike Foxtrot, so Divert could be reskilled. Oh, sorry, that was Texman. Yeah, I guess I guess we might want to start with him to be honest. We need the extra aggression piece. Executioner is probably not our uh, our biggest concern and we might want to scale into combat fitness. So Calvin Martz, you are next up for a reskilling. There we go. One of the things on the strategic layer that you always got to make sure is that you're using your time efficiently. So if the people are not on missions, make sure that you use your time efficiently. Advanced coil guns, huge for us. Gauss cannon, scatter gun, long rifle, 
basically all of the additional weapons that we haven't had. Got an instant turret breakdown, which now allows us to get defense metrics, and you know how much I like that. Shredder armor is not bad, but we got Shredder in other, um, in other ways. Physically, these shield bearers are not all that dissimilar from their various advent peers. Their armor, um, distinctive feature differentiating them. That is good. I like stiletto rounds, they are very, really helpful, and stasis vests are good as well. So, we're getting kind of the upgraded or second tier of ammunition. And I think we can go for the facility lead. Why not? I mean, it's only five intel, and that would, I think, allow us to go to the black side, if I'm not mistaken. The other option that I would like to take is plasma rifle. 18 days. Uh, let's do the facility lead real quick, and then we're going for plasma rifles. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. Gotta save some supplies. Wow, the research of that technology in itself is crazily expensive. All right, and we were at the end of uh, this episode because we now need to launch the next mission to get some more resistance personnel here and essentially train our newcomers. Which leads me to the point where I thank you for uh, for the attention today. Um, see you in the next vision. And as always, if you enjoyed what you've seen, smash the like button and leave a comment down below. See you later. Bye-bye.